New at 4.30. There are questions tonight about the future of a venerable Chicago theater after 18 employees were fired. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza is looking into why. These former staffers say they were let go after trying to unionize, making the future and the fabric of the famed Victory Garden Theater a big question mark. The marquee of Victory Gardens Theater is blank. No coming attractions, a season cut short because the staff was cut loose. Sadly, I don't think there will be a future for the theater. Uh, I think that what they're trying to do is end Victory Gardens. Victory Gardens is a Tony Award winning theater in this spot on Lincoln Avenue since 1974. It has a long history for showcasing young playwrights. Bring in all of these people from around the community and have their stories be told. People who are just now getting started, um, giving them a chance to actually have their work be presented on stage. Now its staff, all 18 members speak of the theater in past tense. All of them were terminated. None of them say they've gotten a reason why. The timing of our firing came before we were able to finish the process of unionizing. The staff wanted to be part of a union. Then their latest show, Colored Wada, ended two weeks early. <laughs> the playwright said the values of the board did not align with her own. Who's working there now? No one. Bob. So we went to see Bob Hingsbergen, the new executive director. He was there, but did not talk to us on camera. Later, we received a statement which says in part that going forward, the theater will bring productions to their stage by theaters that don't have a permanent home, and that because they won't be producing plays in the near future, they had to reduce their workforce. Their fired staff says that means a move to rent the space out rather than developing their own content. We have no idea why they are completely tossing away this theater. The former staff set up a GoFundMe to help get them by until they find new jobs, which has already raised more than half of its $20,000 goal. So they say the only victory they were really looking for was right here at the Victory Gardens Theater as a unionized group. We're in Lincoln Park. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News.